uh, Byte Dancing's former head of engineering in the U.S. said, um, in a lawsuit, he was fired for voicing concerns to management that the TikTok owner was stealing copyrighted content from other platforms, including Instagram and Snapchat. He also alleges the company fabricated users to exaggerate its metrics and help the China's Communist Party spread propaganda to a larger audience. Uh, Yin Tao Roger, you said he learned soon after he joined the company in 2017 that ByteDance had for uh, years undertaken a worldwide scheme, including in California, to steal and profit from the copyrighted works of others, according to his complaint filed Friday in San Francisco State Court. Uh, now in the nation's uh, Sagan's ending through an obviously's fast of allergies and committees uh, references uh, a lot of the concerns escapes Barbara Gassable's hot increase uh, uh, that with the complaint. Um, you alleges the company was driven by a culture of lawlessness that focused on growth at all costs and uh, he was surprised by the brazenly unlawful uh, conduct within the company which was euphemistically excused as entrepreneurship according to the complaint uh, but uh, when you reported his concerns to higher ups they were dismissive or asked him to hide the illegal activity and he was eventually terminated in late 2018 after a medical leave according to the suit which identifies one supervisor who was in two position to retaliate against him as Kelly Jean who is now ByteDance China's chief executive officer uh, uh, TikTok has been under intense scrutiny from Congress and the Federal National Security Review over concerns uh, about potential influence from the Chinese government because ByteDance is based in China. Multiple bills had been introduced that would limit or ban the app in the U.S. As recently uh, as this month, uh, in, in a letter to Congress, uh, the, the company said it's never shared any U.S. user data with the Chinese government and wouldn't have requested to do so. TikTok says it is in process of walling off its sensitive U.S. operations into a separate entity with relevant data kept on Oracle Corp's domestic servers. Um, ByteDance representatives um, didn't immediately respond to a request for comment on the lawsuit. Uh, ByteDance relied on software to strip video from competitors' websites to make its service appear more popular with users, according to the complaint. These actions were taken without the permission of the content creators and represented an unlawful effort to gain an edge against entrenched online video hosting websites, according to the complaint. Uh, concerned about ByteDance's skirting of legal and ethical lines, and the potential liability for the theft use says he repeatedly raised objections including to a senior vice president of engineering who reported directly to ByteDance CEO Yiming Song. But the senior vice president dismissed his concerns and the infringement continued according to the complaint. Yu is seeking a court order directing ByteDance to stop scraping social media content that belongs to others. The lawsuit also details Yu's objection to the company's treatment of an unidentified employee suffering from depression. He says he lodged a complaint with Byte Dance as head of human resources about an illegal plan to fire the employee. You, a resident of California, was hired with stock options and a guaranteed payment of $600,000 for the intellectual property of his own company, Tank Exchange, with the condition that he stayed with Byte Dance for two years, according to the complaint. Uh, Byte Dance claims it notified you that his termination is due to a reduction in headcount, but he argues he never received any notices, according to the suit. Uh, in November 2018, uh, the Apple without a stock option award, which he says had vested. In 2019, he filed a discrimination complaint with California's Department of Fair Employment and Housing. A coordination to the suit. If the case is you vs. Byte Dance Incorporated, CGC 23, 606, California Superior.